everybody, my name is Tina and welcome to our awesome web challenge for 20 days. Today is the 16th day and we will be more looking into how is your web page looking in Google, how it should look on a Google and what you can maybe improve and how to do it that your web page would be stunning also when someone is searching your name in Google. Why is it important to look great on Google? Well, I believe that you already know that the Google is a huge search engine and everybody knows it and everybody is almost using it. So it's super important that your web page, when you show up or when you pop up in there, looks awesome so people will actually click on it and go to your web page. And what does it mean, look awesome on Google? Let's check it out. Today I'm going to introduce you a few parts from a huge field actually, which is called SEO, Search Engine Optimization. But as I said, we are going to just talk about just little part from this whole big field. So if you want to dig a little deeper to it, just Google and search a little more about SEO. And this small part today will be about the meta titles, meta description, and how your page is basically looking on Google. So what are these meta titles, uh, meta description, these kind of things? Well, let me show you an example. It will be much easier. Here you can actually see the meta title. This little thing is the meta description and here you can also see the URL address. And all these things you can actually edit in your CMS or with the help of your web developers. There are actually a lot of sophisticated tools where you can check your web page on the Google. How does it look like? Um, one of these tools are actually also a Search Console by Google, uh, which is for free, which is kind of nice. Um, this tool is actually also showing you some space for improvements where do you have mistakes. But for your purposes right now, it's really enough just to type in the Google browser site double dot yourwebpage.com and you will actually see all the sites you have indexed by Google and you can see also all the writings you have in there. So you can actually just check that out and then connect with the people responsible for your web page and spread the work to your team to improve your uh, pages or subpages on the Google, how they look like. Even though you will change your uh, meta title, meta description, and these, these things we just talked about, it's still super important to create the content. Because if you have more content, the Google will index you and prefer you uh, in front of the other web pages. So still don't forget that it's not just about this. There are a lot of many other things and one of them is actually to create a content which will be suitable for your visitors. The content must be great. So just to sum it up, it's very important to have good looking uh, meta titles and meta descriptions as we just talked about because well, you know, this is the first impression you are making on your potential customers. But on the other hand, the most important or much more important is actually content you are having on your web page. Because, you know, Google is a smart guy and he will prefer you in the search engine if you have a good content on your web page. If you want to improve your meta titles, meta description, titles, and the content in general, it's good to get inspired by some keywords which are users using actually on Google. And there are more options how to figure it out. Uh, one of them is that you actually have a keyword analysis, which is always better, but not everybody has that. So you can actually get inspired by the Google. You know, when you start to type something in there, the Google starts to like give you some hints what you are most likely searching for. And these hints are actually the words or keywords what the people are searching for most often. So you can get inspired by this. Or in Google Ads, 
Uh, there is uh, one tool where you can also search and find the keywords that are used most on the Google. So this could help you use these keywords or get inspired by them and improve all your content. And if you want to know, on the other hand, for some, about some current trends, uh, there's a nice tool which is called Google Trends. And you can ch well, check, check that one out because you can see in there uh, what are the upcoming trends or what Google sees as the trends. This might also help with the keywords you can use uh, on your web page. One more thing, let's say a bonus thing in here, is how is your web page look like when you share uh, your uh, web page on the social media? What I mean is that if you just copy paste your URL address into Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn, uh, it, show, it shows you some picture and also some title and a meta description again. So this is something again what you can improve. So if somebody will ever, ever share your web page on any social media, you, you, will, you can be sure that your web page looks stunning in there. So test that out. And if it doesn't look great, just uh, approach your web developers and they will help you to make it look better. So that's it from today. I hope you enjoyed it. Now I hope that you still have these 20 to 30 minutes as usually to make your web page much better. So test it out, try it, don't forget site double.yourwebpage.com. Check how your web page is looking on Google. Most probably you will need the help of your web developers, so um, make sure that you will use this time to spread the work. And I will see you tomorrow already in the 17th video and have a nice rest of the day. Enjoy checking your web page. And you know, as usually, if you like the video, give a thumb up and subscribe if you didn't know already. Yeah. <laughs>